What's going on guys, Chinese guy here. In today's video, I want to talk about some ideas for a War 2 Battlefield game. And specifically, I want to talk about the factions and how I think the classes should be laid out. This is hopefully just the beginning of a video series where I talk about some ideas for the future 2016 Battlefield title, do a little speculation, and let our imagination run wild. Maybe, just maybe, somehow the devs might catch on and actually add some of our ideas into the game, but primarily, let's just have some fun thinking about the next Battlefield title and just getting a little hyped. This also doesn't have to just revolve around a World War II themed Battlefield. In the future, I can talk about anything from Battlefield 2143, Bad Company 3, Battlefield Vietnam, or even ideas for Battlefield 5. So enough blabbering, let's get started and talk about the factions for the game, which I would suggest a total of 4, 2 from the Axis powers and 2 from the Allies. The Axis powers will contain Nazi Germany and Japan, the Allied factions will be the United States and the Soviet Union. Now of course I know in real life World War II contains so many other important countries, but I feel like these four nations are a must do put into a game as they were major players during the war. But also, all four countries have a variety of vehicles and weapon choices, and more importantly, I think it leaves the door wide open for cool awesome map designs especially for Japan. So what do you guys think? Is four too little or too many? And also keep in mind, for each faction, DICE would need to create vehicles and different soldier uniforms. It could be a lot of work, but I think 4 is the perfect number. It's a slight increase from the 3 that we have from Battlefield 4, so I think it's a nice improvement. Next, moving on to classes, I wanted to keep them more or less the same like how they are right now for Battlefield 4. I kind of like the class balance, but there are still a few tweaks here and there that I would like to make. Now, a major problem with that is that during World War II, we didn't really have any assault rifles. I'll say this now, I'm no gun expert, so correct me if I'm wrong. I do believe that the German STG-44 was actually one of the first guns to be considered an AR, and it was also known to be the grandfather of the modern assault rifles. So if I am correct, there wouldn't be a weapon class of assault rifles, and that would mean we need a replacement category for the assault or the medic class. So here's what I would do. For the replacement, we will have the carbines for the assault, the engineers won't have any exclusive weapon class, the support like Battlefield 4 will have the LMGs, and the recons will have the bolt actions. Then when it comes to the all kit weapons, we'll obviously have the sidearms, we'll also have the DMRs, SMGs, and shotguns. So basically, I just switched the carbines and the PDWs or SMGs around like how they are right now in Battlefield 4 and hopefully this still gives the assault class the advantage of having the best guns in the game but at the same time I think it also allows the other classes like the engineers to have a selection from close quarters weapons like the SMGs and shotguns to more medium or long range DMRs. Personally I think this is the best way of balancing the classes but if you do have any other ideas I'm all ears. Also, keep in mind I took in consideration of the gadgets when coming up with this balance. I don't want to get into them in this video, so I'll save that for another time. Anyways, the next video will actually be on the weapons themselves. I might do it class by class with each different video, but I don't know, we'll see. That might be a little bit too long. I might condense the video with all the weapons together. I'm not too sure, so we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the concept video, remember these are just ideas made up by me, they are in no way factual, and for all we know, this could be making something completely different, it could be World War 2 theme, but at the same time, it could be anything else. Thanks for watching, give me a like, and stay tuned for more. Peace out guys.